In addition to reconstructing the army of his father, Mohammad Reza Shah also wanted to reconstruct the dictatorship of his father. So you have the Shah try to appropriate to himself all sorts of pro political prerogatives at the expense of the majlis, of the parliament, pushing for more money for the army, more troops, um, and the Allies trying to control and resist this. Um, in 1946, the Shah uses the army successfully to re-establish Iranian control throughout the autonomous provinces of Azerbaijan and Kurdistan. So although we know that Mossadegh was eventually overthrown by a coup, I think it would be wrong to assume on that account that the army as a solid bloc was in favor of the monarchy. Um, when we look at the 1940s, for example, we can see that the Shah had difficulty in establishing his own supremacy over his senior officers. And in the period of the oil nationalization crisis, again, we see Mossadegh retiring the senior officers who were pro-Shah, but on the other hand, gaining a good deal of support from other officers within the army at slightly lower levels usually, who formed a kind of bedrock of military support for his regime. So I think it would be wrong to imagine that the army was pro-monarchy and anti-Mossadegh. It was much more internally divided than that. And when the coup came, it had to be implemented against considerable opposition within the army as well.